Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just going to get on here and talk about this China balloon that was shot down. Um, this is so ignorant. It's so stupid. Why do we let stuff like this happen and then wait to the very last minute to shoot this China balloon down? China says it's a weather balloon, which everybody knows that it's a spy balloon. They say, oh, it just drifted off course and it wound it up here. Uh, no, it didn't. It's under control, so somebody's controlling how the balloon flies and where it's going. So, I mean, it, it's just ignorant that everybody thinks we're just so stupid. And this leadership that we've got in the White House, why did they not shoot this balloon down before it, it even got into our airspace it don't make no sense so anyway i just woke up guys and got ready for work so i'm just making this quick video um but why was it this thing shot down um i mean everybody's worried about hey this could have been carrying and it could have could have been carrying chemical weapons on it well you allow this thing to fly so many days until it gets over water, and, so, and you said that you shot it down now because you was worried about safety of people getting hit. You was worried about people getting hit by debris and all this stuff. There were plenty of opportunities to shoot this thing down over land instead of shooting it over water. But not only that, but they had plenty of time. If they was carrying chemical weapons on this, they had plenty of time to drop a load on throughout the whole entire places that they flew over until it got shot down to do something. And we're standing by just allowing this to happen. Here's another thing that ticks me off. In America, in certain places, people can't even fly drones like up 400 feet they can't fly it near airports. They can't. They, I mean, they're so restricted on flying drones in America, but yet a Chinese balloon can fly all the way across this country before they shoot it down. And our president, and I say our president because he's who's in charge right now. He's allowing this to happen, and it shows how weak that him and our military and everybody is that follows him. We need somebody in the office that can actually take charge and do something. Then I hear that there's another balloon. I can't remember where they said it was at. By, you know, by China again, same thing. They're not just putting these balloons out there to check the weather. You know, we're allowing these countries to get by with things we need to stand up and start showing that we got strength again and start building our military up and stop being weak and letting everything happen but our leadership right now in the white house and in congress sucks <laughs> it really sucks so my deal today is i want somebody to put in the comments why did they wait so long to shoot this thing out of the sky and when did they know that it came into the airspace as soon as it came into our airspace coming towards America I mean they could have shot this thing out of the sky probably a few days before it even got into, you know, once it got into our airspace, they could have took this thing down. And I don't understand, you know, and our military must think that everybody's stupid because they want to keep everything secret and all. Everybody knows how China and Russia and um, North Korea, they all hate us. So they're going to do what they can do and see how far they can go and get by with it. Put down in the comments what you think. I mean, if they would have if they would have brought biological weapons over here, warfare, and they would have dropped it on us, 
it could have been COVID all over again. I mean, it could have been something where, you know, you can't, a lot of this stuff you can't see, you can't taste, you can't, you can't do anything about it until it's too late. Why are they not ticked off about this? You know, why is the president not ticked off about this? You know, what could we have done days earlier instead of waiting till now to shoot it out of the sky? Plus, to me, if they shoot it over water, a lot of this stuff is heavy. It's, it's held by cables. If it falls in the water, it's going, I mean, it, it's going to be broken to pieces and it's going to sink. Not only that, but you're, you're falling, it, I mean, it's falling down in salt water. You know, if they'd have shot it over land, at least they could have picked the pieces up instead of the, when it hits the ocean, it's going to be everywhere. It, it, I mean, some of the stuff just don't make no sense to me, and I may be stupid to a lot of it. I don't know. But, you know, what could we have done different that would have helped us? Anyway, this thing's got me so, I mean, I was so ticked off about all this because we're letting China and Russia and North Korea shooting off these missiles. You know, they're they're pushing the limit. We need to start building our military back up and showing that we have strength again. Me personally, we should have the biggest military and the army and the air force and the marines and the navy. We should have, you know, top dog. We should be bigger than than anyone in my opinion so you know drop down in the comments uh if you don't mind hit like hit subscribe i'd really like to know you guys' opinion on this because you know this just don't affect america china and them could send this over to israel they could send it to you know uh they probably got this stuff floating around taiwan they probably got it I mean, they're they're trying to push the envelope with everybody, and I'm sorry. Eventually, I believe it's going to come down to war between not only us and China, but I believe, you know, Russia, China, North Korea, everybody that hates America, that hates Israel, that hates our allies, it's going to eventually it's going to come down to one big huge war, and we better be ready for it. And the military better be ready for it, and people better start preparing for it, because, um, you know, just with this balloon, they could have killed a lot of people if it was biological warfare. That This could have been a good opportunity for them to do something, and, I mean, they could have, they could have had a thing on board where they dropped the whole payload. I mean, they could have took thousands and thousands of people out, if not millions, so... Guys, I know this is a little bit long, but this has kind of got a lot of people upset, and I'd just like to know your opinion. Even, you know, I've got a lot of uh, Filipino friends that's on here, too, that comment on some of my videos. I'd like to know what you think. I mean, if, if this came through the, uh, the Philippines, you know, would you guys be upset? You know, what would you think? Um, but please... Uh, let me know what you think, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.